In this video, we are going to see how we can install W Server 2020.1. So, to which version most of the people are upgrading these days. So, let's first download the software from Tableau site. We can either directly Google or go to tableau.com and then servers download here to uh, get the right version for us. So, whichever way is fine. So, I'm just searching in the Google for the right version and then I'll select the tableau.com under the server and the download section. From there, I'll select the right version that I'm going to install now. So there can be two flavors here, uh, Windows and Linux versions. So most as we are going to install on a Windows version, so we'll download the .exe if you want the Linux versions which are like uh, it can be .dev or RPM based on the Linux distribution that you use, you can download the relevant one. You can click on the .exe so that it will get automatically downloaded. You can save it somewhere or like save as or you can do save whichever is fine. So it's pretty fast on AWS cloud so it, it, it gets downloaded immediately. Uh, like you can see the application has been downloaded. Just right click on it uh, and then run as administrator. So you have to accept the terms and conditions. So here you can select the path. Uh, so now by default it selects C drive and program files. So otherwise you can select if you want to install it on a different drive like D drive or E drive somewhere else. You can select that one. Uh, so you have that option to do. And uh, if it is a second node or third node you are going to install then you can select the second option in here which is add additional node rather than the create uh, new Tableau server installations. So either of the options we will select based on our need and uh, the thing, right? So this is the first one which is create the new node uh, as it like initial node and new fresh installations or otherwise you can add it to the existing cluster. So you have built a cluster before and you want this node to be on that. As it is a fresh installation so I am just selecting it and I click install. So the resources on these machines are okay for a trial version which is kind of uh, POC because it's not a very huge machine so it's fine we can just go ahead. It's because of the number of processes uh, that we have on the server. This is just binary installation, so all it does is just unpack the .exe single file that we have and it just do here and there. It is not the actual installation yet, uh, so it, it does just copy the things that needed for the TSM installation and for the TSM configurations. Once this basic installation and setup is done, so we'll get this TSM page. So all, what all this basic installation does is, so it enables and starts the TSM, uh, the key process, so that we can do the actual installations as well as the further configurations which is required for the key Tableau server setup. Right. So like, so the key configuration like uh, the authentication setup and um, the gateway port definitions and all of that stuff along with the registration details etc. So those things all we'll do after this. 
So in order to log into this TSM page here, we'll require an administrator account with which we logged in to this Windows server. So that will act as the login accounts for TSM administration page. So which says, so all of the users whoever, ac whoever have access to this Windows machine, right? It doesn't matter whether they have a Tableau license at all or they have a Tableau license or not. So with just Windows admin account, they should be able to log into the TSM page because TSM page has been configured just to do the admin activities. So I have administrator account that I'm going to use. So with which I logged into this Windows machine, right? So and then the password for the administrator account. Once we give those details and just sign in, it will automatically sign us to the TSM initial setup page. Okay, so the different steps that we need to achieve here, like uh, the first registrations and whether we have to go with the trial version or a license key, whichever is the way. So as we do not have a key with us, so we'll go with the trial version, right? So if you are doing it as an enterprise kind of uh, setup then you will have at least a creator or an explorer key in order to start the installations with a product key so for product key you have to check with your account manager or whoever deals the keys for your specific organizations okay because just because we do not have those so we'll go with the trial version which comes with the 14 days we can do anything uh, it is a fully functioning server with the 14 days version so here you have to give your contact information like what's your name what's your uh, organization what is your designation what is the contact to reach out to you the email like all of that stuff you have to give in here right so once you give that just click register okay so once you complete the activation and registration part which also can be done offline it is not only through the tsm browser you can do the same thing via tsm command line utility also so that means so the entire process that we are doing here like activation registration setup and installation so all of this process can also be done using the tsm command line utility without having this gui okay so now this is the key part right this is where we decide what authentication that we are going to use and what is the runner service that we are going to use and all other key information details which we cannot change afterwards okay so not everything in this but the identity store that we select here so we cannot change once this is set to something let's say now it is set to active directory but going forward if your organization want to change back change it back to the local so you cannot simply switch it just like that you have to completely uninstall tableau and install it again and restore the older backup that you have with you so that's the way tableau tells you to do there is no way that you can simply switch your uh, identity store okay so how it differs if you select a local identity right you can create users and groups and everything in your tableau server locally but if you select an active directory so you have to be it will be integrated with your organization's active directory so you can simply import and uh, import the users and groups directly from the active directory store so in way in one way that is more easy because you don't need you don't need to maintain the passwords for the users but in other way there will be dependency on the active directory teams so if there is a new group needs to be created or if there is something user access or something like that sort of if a new user joins so those things that right, it's it's a little bit tricky when it comes to active directory because uh, few things are dependent on them right so but when it comes to local so it's everything in you so uh, depends on the how server admin responds and how quickly he do the things so if we set it to local we can simply create users and we can set the passwords there display name email address everything we can set it up but if it's set to the active directory that email address password everything will be directly synced with your active directory account 
so that's the key difference between the two identity stores that are available even with local if you, even if you select local it doesn't mean that you always have to create the username sorry uh, give the passwords locally you can still integrate with the saml wherein the usernames and uh, passwords email address of the users so those kind of information can be stored on the saml side you can still directly import with a username directly so that also works so there are two options you have to very uh, be sure when you select this because you cannot change it once the installation is complete you can change but it's a tedious process you have to take a backup as i said take backup completely re uninstall and then install and then you just restore your backup right so when you select active directory so it automatically as your windows servers in the organizations or the enterprises so they connected to the domain so it will automatically identify the domains just like nowadays there is no domain it is just a work group so it identified the work group but normally if it is attached to any domains then it will be like just the domain will be automatically picked up and your tableau server will be automatically synced up with your active directory servers so we'll be selecting local identity store here and we just move on so what is the next option so the next option that we have to select for the initialization is run as service account so there are uh, things that we need to understand when we set the run as service account right so if you have a data source which is some sql kind of data source right uh, sql server i'm a sql server or uh, some other data base that can accept the user impersonation right? so those things if you have that sort of data sources and stuff you can set the run as service account other than the entity service which comes by default this thing you can change afterwards also it is not like if you set it now you cannot change it afterwards you can still go ahead with the the one which is uh, uh, anti service authority and then you can change it afterwards there is no there are no issues or anything so we're going with default uh, the local local identity store and entity authority network service so by default the port is 80 here we are defining the gateway port it it works with our url right so whether you want to give some port at the end of the browser url that you are going to get or what whether it's 80 or 8080 it doesn't matter you can give whatever port you would like to give so by default most of the cases we stick to 80 but otherwise you can change this port also so if you change it post the url that you're going to get at the end of the installations will be a change because you have to mention specifically 88 if it is just 80 then you need not to mention the port number you will see that at the end of the towards the end of the sessions right so how the url formation happens so product usage data it is up to you if you want to enable it or if you want to not to enable it it is up to your organization's restriction Uh, so there are no particular comments on this. So normally I just disable it and include sample workbooks. It includes sample workbooks if you don't want those. So you can just exclude it by just disabling it. So we're going with local entity authority and no data, and then include the samples and the port is 8080, and then we click initialize. So this point uh, at this point it will take uh, some amount of time 20. i would say depends on your system cpu and ram so 20 minutes sometimes it is 30 minutes so yeah it, it goes on so i i'll be trimming the video here just to just keep it fast okay you can observe on the screen uh, when it does this process so it does so many things it does 
install the postgres server it does create the key stores it does make the passwords so it does so many things and once it is complete then yeah this is what the screen that you will see so the initialization is complete you need to create a tableau server administrator account right so this is not the admin account that we logged into the tsm web ui so this is the actual tableau server ad administrator account which requires a license okay so that's the reason i said if you're going with an organization kind of then you have to give at least one explorer or at least a creator license to in order to uh, go away with this step okay so as we have selected the local authentication here we have to fill out the username display name the password and then confirm password so if it is an active directory then you can just log in directly to the server so the user whichever you used here so that will be your key server administrator account right now you can see on the screen that we have logged in um, we have created the user which is admin and we have logged in that user automatically you can create the tableau samples also got generated because we have set it to be generated uh, so when you click on the users here you can see we have only one user that we just signed up which is the tableau server administrator which is the key super user of the entire server ui and we can create users locally i'm just creating a one to see how actually it works right we have to give the username we have to fill in the display name password what is the site role so everything what not right so if it is an ad kind of right we'll just give the username and then what is the site role that the user is going to get will not fill any other details so that's the easy part but as i said there are both shortcomings and advantages with the both of the options so if you look at the url here right so that's what i just highlighted if you look at the url so we have 80 80 in here but in general if you have set it as 80 in the beginning you need not to even give the port number in the url in the browser it just goes like that but just because we have given 8080, so you have to specifically mention the URL in there. Okay, so I'm trying to log in with the other account I just created just to make sure that it works. Yeah, so my entire server setup is working fine without any issues. So this is how you install Tableau server with local authentication. So I'll be creating one more video. Uh, so the same version i'll do the installations but that is going to be with the active directory so i'll set up an active directory server before and also i'll show you how you can install a tableau server 2020 plus with active directory configuration going with it right thank you for watching this video so you can subscribe to my channel ask lakshmi for more videos on tableau server